So the two questions that you will typically see from this would be, are these figures similar figures? Or you will be given a statement that says they are similar. What are the missing measures? So for this first type of are they similar, we're going to have to draw ourselves two triangles. And this is triangle D, E, F, and angle F is 46 degrees. Angle D is 104. I'll zoom in. degrees and then angle E is 30 degrees. The measure of DE is 3 centimeters. The measure of DF is 2 centimeters and the measure of FE is 4 centimeters. For our second triangle this is A, B, C, angle A is 104 degrees, angle C is 46 degrees, and angle B is 30 degrees. Measure of AB is 9 centimeters, the measure of AC 6 centimeters, the measure of CB is 12 centimeters. So knowing what we know about similar figures, if we look directly above, the corresponding angles are congruent. So if we remember that about similar figures, we can go ahead and state that triangle DEF is similar to triangle ABC. Don't just say that they're similar, but support with some reasoning because their corresponding angles are congruent. That is one way you can determine that they are similar. However, you could also determine that they are similar by examining the lengths of their sides, their corresponding sides. So if we set up the side lengths in order from least to greatest, in ratios. Okay, so if we start with triangle DEF, the smallest on DEF is 2. And then the next measure would be 3. And then the next measure would be 4. And then looking at triangle ABC, the smallest measure is 6. And then 9. And then 12 is last. So if we put these as ratios, we could examine our cross products. 2 times 9 is 18. 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times 12 is 36. 9 times 4 is 36. Our cross products are equal. 18 is congruent or equal to 18. 36 is equal to 36. So we are dealing with similar figures because our cross products are equal. Or you could say, if I simplify this to one third, this simplifies to one third, this simplifies to one third, and it is similar figures because all of these ratios simplify to the same unit rate. So we can check our side lengths 
for cross pro equal cross products. or unit rate. And then in our statement, we could say triangle DEF is similar to triangle ABC because the side lengths, corresponding sides, are proportional. For the second most common type of problem, This is angle X, angle Y, angle Z. Angle Z is 89 degrees. Side length XY is 12 centimeters. XZ is 8 centimeters. YZ is 9 centimeters. And then we've got P. R Q. PR is 20. RQ, we do not know. It is a variable in. PQ is 30 centimeters. Angle Q we know is to 40 degrees. And then angle R is also a variable. So we will be looking for what is the measure of angle R and second what is the length of RQ. Our similarity statement is given to us in the directions, and it says that triangle X, Y, Z is similar to triangle P, Q, R. And this is where using colors will be beneficial. So X is in first place, P is in first place. Y is in first place, Q is in, excuse me, second place, second place, and Z, third place, R is in third place. So if I go over here, X is corresponding to P, and Y is corresponding to Q, and then Z corresponds to R. So if you are aware that corresponding angles are congruent on similar figures, then you can answer number one by saying the measure of angle R is 89 degrees because it corresponds to angle Z, which has a measure of 89 degrees. No math necessary for that particular question. Now, if it had asked for the measure of angle P, we would say, I didn't say this was 40 degrees, we could say 180 minus parentheses 40 
plus 89, and that would give us the measure of angle X and the measure of angle P, if we had needed to do that. For question two, what is the length of RQ? Well, let's deal with RQ first. RQ is our variable. We don't know the measure for RQ. We're going from orange to yellow. So looking over here, from orange to yellow, the measure on this triangle is Z to Y, nine centimeters. R to Q, so Z to Y. Then you could pick from this triangle, because we're dealing with PRQ on the numerator, you could pick either 20 or 30, it does not matter. And this is line segment PR. From here, I'm going first to third, so I need to go from X to Z. X to Z is 8 centimeters. This is line segment. Now I've got a proportion because we know that similar figures have proportional sides. Cross multiply and divide your proportion. So we have 8N is equal to 9 times 20, which we know is 180. Divide both sides by 8 and N is 22 and a half centimeters. So the length of RQ is 22.5 centimeters. That's all we have for today. Thanks for listening.